I have a problem. I cannot tell the difference between flirting and good customer service. <laughs> Anyone else get confused? <laughs> I keep telling my friends, I'm like, oh, I met this great guy. They're like, where'd you meet him? I'm like, office depot, why does it matter? Who cares? <laughs> they want to know the whole story, so I tell them. I say, okay, I was just standing in an aisle, and this guy came up to me out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, he did not have to. And he just asked me if I needed anything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's already the best boyfriend I have ever had. <laughs> so good to me. <laughs> I also sometimes will think someone's flirting with me and then realize that they're just kind of like socially awkward, you know? <laughs> like one time I thought this barista was super into me because when he was helping me, he spilled a cup of coffee. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> He's so nervous. <laughs> He cannot handle this. And then while I was at the coffee shop, I watched him spill like three other drinks. Yeah, he cheated on me. Can you believe that? Right away. <laughs> when I do make love to a man, is that how you say it? Uh, I think so. When I do make love to a man, I prefer to go to his place, that's my preference, but I run into this problem sometimes when I sleep over at a guy's house and he has to leave for work in the morning before me. I never know the etiquette for making his bed. <laughs> There's no solution, right? <laughs> Doing nothing, that feels rude, but if you fully make a man's bed, you look insane. <laughs> He will come home later like, this got serious fast. <laughs> I was not ready. <laughs> I think the coolest thing you can do is leave it unmade but with a still lit cigarette on the pillow. That's <laughs> the coolest move. I do, I prefer to go to the guy's place but I have this problem too. I am still searching for a man with a bathroom that has an obvious hand towel. <laughs> I have not found him. <laughs> Every man's bathroom has like 10 different varieties of distinctly not hand towels, right? There's always one that's fully drenched for some reason, <laughs> just sitting on the counter, drying, I guess. Sometimes there's like a medium sized towel and you're like, it could be the hand towel but it also might just be the bath towel of a smaller roommate, you know? <laughs> Stressful, right? Because I don't think there is anything more unsettling in the world than a towel you don't know the history of. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> you guys have roommates? Of course you do, all right. <laughs> you ever hear your roommates having sex and become incredibly invested in it? Does that happen? We have to root for our friends, don't we? I always become super invested. I become especially invested in any man involved finishing. That's what you want, right? You want the man to come because that of course means we can all go to sleep. And that's, <laughs> that's all we're looking for. On the subject, I do have a note for the fellas. Hope you can take it. Uh, this thing will happen every once in a while when I'm, you know, making love to a man. We'll be going at it, it's going great. He'll start pulling out too much with each pump and it's like, you're here, hang out, where are you going? Don't leave. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't go to a party and just keep running outside. <laughs> just people smoking out there. <laughs> That's my first note for the fellas. Second note, stop breaking my heart. Those are my two notes. <laughs> Otherwise, amazing work across the board. <laughs> you are so well-liked. <laughs>